Good morning. Good morning. Okay. So, I want to say good morning to everyone that is joining in on my live. I'm going to be very quickly this morning. Um, today, Teach Me Thursday, is going to be words of encouragement. And today, we're going to talk about jumping. Um, we're jumping with the three Ps. Um, the three Ps is going to be jump with a prayer, jump with a plan, and jump with purpose. Um, so, I've, um, I'm realizing we're in a season of preparation for the next thing. A lot of people um, getting ready to start new projects, new businesses, uh, maybe new babies. Um, next month is birthday season for a lot of things. So, with that being said, with you starting something new, you got to get in jump position. Now, within jump position, there are a lot of things that happen in jump position. Some people can get in jump position, and when they get in jump position, they can talk themselves out of jumping. That's just like if you um, if you go skydiving, and you might get all the put all the equipment on, and you're getting ready to go skydiving, and then next thing you know, they said, okay, they open the door, and when they open the door, you can talk yourself out of saying, no, I don't want to do this again. So in jump position, you want to make sure that first you are jumping um, first with a prayer. Prayer and praying and whatever that thing is that you are doing, that you go in prayer that God leads you in the midst of it all. So make sure that you're guided with prayer so God can open up doors for you for whatever it is you're getting ready to start or prepare yourself for. Next thing is you want to have a plan. Now, there's a lot of people who uh, will quit their job before they open up a business. That is not the way to go. Um, you can walk by faith all day, but if you have no plan, if you, if you have not prepared, or if you have not um, at least wrote down what happens if this does not work, you're going to find yourself having to go all the way back where you first started. So to make sure that you have a life jacket... Um, before jumping, you want to make sure that you have a plan. What are, what are the steps that you, you're you going to take in order for this to even seem as if it's going to be moving forward? What is the plan on um, whatever it is that you're doing? You know, how is it that this is going to even succeed? How are you going to see some movement in what you are doing? You want to make sure that you have a plan. And a plan, um, it, even if your plan does not work, what I want you to know is because you have taken those steps of putting prayer before that plan, God will always, um, he will always lead and guide your step. So if you got A and B and you don't know what C is yet, that's fine. Because sometimes God may put B before A and then um, then C, then A. So just as long as you have the step and you literally take that time to go through the steps of the plan of what it is that you want to do. Next, you want to make sure um, you're walking into purpose. Make sure that whatever it is that you're doing, you're doing it with a purpose. What is the reason why you're doing it? Because of the reason why you're doing it is only uh, to make money or to, to be seen or to... Uh, you know, no no sense of purpose. If it's not, I'm going to say number one, if anything that you're doing, if it's not to help people, sometimes you're doing it for the wrong reason. Um, no matter what Jesus was doing, he was always helping others. So you want to make sure that you are helping others in whatever it is that you're doing. Um, so what is the purpose of what it is that you're starting or whatever it is that you're getting ready to do? Next... Um, I want to state a few things. In the midst of jump position, um, if you do not jump, if you overthink, and if you um, talk yourself out of it, you're going to always remain frustrated and uncomfortable. You want to already get yourself used to an uh, uncomfortable lifestyle anyway because if you're not uncomfortable in anything, then that means that you're not progressing in life. You're going to just be settled in whatever it is that you have going on. There's no growth in, in comfortability. 
So you want to make sure that in jump position, um, you are not overthinking yourself. Then also make sure you stay focused on what you are doing. If you pay attention, social media is a huge distraction for you to see the outlook of whatever it is that everyone else is doing. That is okay, but you have to have that mindset when you get on for social media to know and understand that what um to not get unfocused on what you're doing because someone else is doing either the same thing that you are doing. God has called people to all of us for whatever it is that we're doing. There's no reason to be jealous or envious of anything else that anybody else has going on because God has. Um, his own purpose and assignment for you as well. Also, um, know that the enemy will use, he's capable to use those around you, um, especially those that are closest to you. Don't look at it like, oh, um, my mom, she said this and that and that and that, or my family members, they don't support me, they don't do this, they don't do that. The enemy uses those people against you to make it feel as if you're not loved or you're not supported. God has specifically people designed for you for whatever it is that he's calling you to do. You can't get upset because those that you thought that were going to support you aren't there to support you. And that's simply okay. Sometimes it's not even meant for them to even be a part of what it is that you're doing. You have to, uh, this next thing that you're getting ready to do, you sincerely have to know who you are in Christ. And the only way that you can get to know who you are in Christ is to not seek validation from those around you. It's for you to seek God and understand who it is that he's calling you to be. That is going to take a lot of courage, a lot of prayer, a lot of planning, and a lot of focus. You're going to have to stay focused. You can't look at your your, your friends. You can't look at this person because sometimes they don't even understand what it is that you're doing. Peter got distracted when he listened to the his friends and them on the boat. You can't listen to them sometimes because of the fact that they only speak in what they know. Not because they don't want to see you grow and succeed, but it's just because you're going in a place that they're not even familiar with. So, yes, it looks foreign to them. What is it that you are doing? But you have to seek God. God, you're calling me to this place. You're calling me to this this foreign place. I have no clue what I'm doing. But you have to trust and believe that God is going to show up. And today I just encourage everyone to jump. When you jump, do not expect for everything to just magically just happen. You're going to have to still grow and go through some things. And it's going to take time and it's going to take process and it's going to take you um, connecting and networking with others. But it's also going to um, take your patience. You have to be patient in whatever it is that you're doing. Rome was not built overnight. So, I encourage all of you to jump. Jump in confidence. Jump knowing that God is with you. Jump with a prayer. Jump with a plan. Jump with purpose. Be encouraged today. Today is the day that we take the step to get in position to jump. Thank you, everyone who have tuned in. Please be sure to like, comment, uh, share um, this post. Um, every week is Teach Me Thursday. Um, not all of the Teach Me Thursday will be hair teaching, but some of them will be words of encouragement. Um, I thank you, everyone who have been watching. Don't forget to um, like, comment, or share. Thank you. Be encouraged. And don't forget to jump. Bye-bye.